The other course I teach here, we'll be teaching in the spring, is human evolution. Um, in this course, uh, we begin with the origins of the primates back at the time of the dinosaurs, and we will actually uh, follow the branches out to their tips. We'll actually look at the more primitive primates. The uh, ones you see across the bottom here are um, lemurs and lorises, tarsiers, uh, probably look like some of our earliest ancestors. Uh, and then we will move on to the, uh, uh, the monkeys and the divergence of the monkeys. And then we will follow one of the groups of the monkeys, the old world monkeys, uh, out to the branch that gave us the apes. Uh, we are one of a number of apes uh, that have um, a lot of similar characteristics that we will look at as we work our way further and further towards the branch tip that we reside on. We'll look at the uh, chimpanzees. There used to only be one chimpanzee, according to taxonomists. In the 1950s, they split it up hard into the chimpanzees and bonobos. Now there's actually uh, three different chimpanzee species uh, with a couple of subspecies in two of them. And uh, some people at least suggest that maybe we should be classified as a chimpanzee as well. And so have suggested that maybe we're the fourth chimpanzee species. Among the topics of most importance to uh, evolutionary biologists that are trying to understand the uh, human evolution uh, is the sort of connection between upright locomotion, bipedal locomotion, and uh, large brain size. Um, as you can see here, uh, working our way from the uh, australopiths on the uh, on the the australopith diagram on the one side of the screen all the way over to a, a baboon on the other side, the ability to walk upright is obviously fairly ancient. Uh, but also, brain sizes in primates are substantially larger than uh, other mammals. So, uh, which came first is still a fairly large point of contention. <coughs> Certainly, uh, one of the most interesting things to people uh, looking at human evolution is the uh, intelligence of uh, of the higher primates, and specifically the, uh, uh, the chimpanzees and humans. Uh, and we can actually look at a lot of parallels that we can see in chimpanzees uh, that might at least presage what we eventually see uh, evolving in humans. A lot of behavioral characteristics they, uh, they find and, and in some cases may make their own medicine, their own tools, um, will hunt, uh, purposely hunt strategically in groups, sometimes hunt uh, uh, other animals down and eat them. Uh, they behave in a lot of ways similar to the way that we do. There's um, a certain amount of bonding between uh, genders. And we'll look at the, once we get upright locomotion and we get uh, probably some of the earliest ancestors to humans, we'll look at um, the differences uh, among these early hominids and uh, some, at least some anthropologists aren't quite comfortable calling some of them humans at all, would suggest they are uh, upright walking apes. Uh, adding to the uh, confusion here a bit maybe is the uh, discovery, recent discovery on the island of Indonesian island of Flores, the uh, Homo floresiensis, also more commonly known as the hobbit, um, which kind of raises a lot of these questions all over again about how big a brain has to be to be human. And some of the most fascinating things uh, that we'll get to, I think, at the end of the course are um, the kinds of behaviors that were made possible by um, this large brain. Uh, shelters seem to have come around uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago, the use of fire and the ability to hunt. Um, and even before our own species evolved, there was apparently some level of uh, uh, organization and ritual behavior among, uh, among large groups. Uh, but certainly we can see it today in a lot of human groups, uh, people getting together and uh, doing things together as groups and, and uh, uh, displaying things like art and, and uh, uh, various aspects of culture. Uh, and we'll actually look at sort of what adaptive purposes some of those behaviors uh, filled. And those are the courses that I teach.